Hello, this is Lee with AppointmentReminder.com. Uh, just want to go through a quick system overview, uh, show you how some things work initially, and hopefully get you on your way to sending messages quickly here. So uh, I'm on AppointmentReminder.com page here. We're just going to log in uh, to the system. And once we're in here, um, just a quick layout of how things work here. Um, you, if you have multiple calendars brought in, you can drop down and see them here. Uh, you can also stack them under the all calendar views. The customer section, if you're using the appointmentreminder.com calendar, not importing from Google Calendar or other calendar systems, you can use this as where you're going to add customers. Uh, notice there is an opt out section there that does work with uh, anybody. If you put a phone number and or email in there, it will opt them out. Uh, but for most people uh, that sync to our system, they do not really use this customer function. Under the manual SMS area, this is where you can send out text manually. If you just have a message that you want to send somebody, uh, it's real simple to just put in a number. Uh, you can also send numbers to multiple, uh, a message to up to 100 numbers here. So if you had a mass message that you wanted to send out, that could be done here. Uh, under the import section, this is for customers who have a, a list. Uh, of appointments, maybe they're importing a CSV file from a different system. That's what import is for. They can come to this and import a, a set of appointments. You can hit import here. There's a nice wizard that walks you through that process. Under reports, you're just going to find some general information, some transactions report, like if you want to see when a reminder was sent, what was said, who it was sent to, the phone numbers, whatnot, you can go through there. Uh, you can also check the reminder count reports just to see how many re uh, reminders are going out, what kind of replies you're seeing, uh, yes and no's, and so on and so forth. Settings is the main heart of the system for uh, sending reminders. Um, I'm going to break this down into a couple sections here, but under settings, the main area that most people use once they get into this is the edit calendar section. We're going to touch on that in just a minute. Um, but first things first, um, when you come into here, you're going to want to look at your edit reminder scripts. This section is where you'll have your script set up. So by script, I mean what message is going to go out to your client. Um, so this is just a default script that's in most people's accounts. Uh, you'll see a text message option, an email option, a voice option, and then there's some custom fields that you can bring in that we can talk about later. If you need help with that, just contact support. Um, but this is where you edit that information. It's always not clear uh, that that's available over here. You can write whatever you want. If you don't want it to have somebody respond to you, just delete the message. You know, don't respond to this and add that in there. So very customizable. Uh, once you get your uh, scripts kind of decided and you like, you want to go to the message sequence section. And by default, when you log in, there'll be a couple different options that we have set in here for you. Like one's a 24 hour uh, SMS text and then a 24 hour uh, appointment confirmation or immediate confirmation. But you'll need to select what sequence you want. And then you can always go in and edit that particular sequence for sending. So uh, completely customizable. Once again, you can set up for an email, you can set up for texts, you can set up for phone calls. Um, so this is the flow of how the reminder is going to be sent as far as whether it's a text, an email, and also at what times you're going to send the reminder. Um, by default, the 24 hour uh, reminder with an immediate appointment confirmation is what is the system default as of right now. Um, to change, once you've got your sequence decided and, and you like it, then you need to go to default reminder settings. And this is where you're going to change what reminder settings you're going to send. And whether it's a sequence, uh, you could just choose a sequence here and then what sequence you want to use. So it'll be like a 24 hour uh, and then hit save on that. Now you'll have it by default, but it's just more for people that want to customize the flow or, you know, I want to text at this time and then an email and then a phone call. It's very customizable. 
but that is how you do that under message sequences. And then just remember, you need to go to default reminder settings to change that. Um, I'm not going to touch too much on this other stuff. Uh, edit calendars is an er area that you'll really need to pay attention to. Lots of different options under here, uh, especially depending on whether you're coming in from 365 or Google. There'll be uh, additional uh, setting options to pay attention to under there. Um, to get the information in from Office 365 or Google Calendar, uh, what you need to do is put the phone number and or email that we're sending the reminder to on the subject line and or the description of the event. So that's how we pull that information over. And everything is set up to be done either in Office 365 and or Google Calendar. So if you're if you're using Google Calendar and you're, you're continuously logging into our system, you're doing something wrong. Um, you should be able to do everything in your Google Calendar. We will grab the information from there and then send an update back to Google Calendar whether the person has responded to it or not. Um, there's other videos on how to connect to Google Calendar and also how to connect with Office 365. Um, not a whole lot of other stuff to talk on for just basic usage right now, uh, but that is where you're going to pay attention. In this, um, notice the sending on button here. This is usually off for most people. That is a just a system wide uh, can shut down. If you turn this to off, no messages will be sent. If you turn this to on, obviously messages will send, but it is a main kill switch. You cannot send manual message when that is off. Okay. Uh, from there, once you have your calendar loaded, uh, you should have it loaded. If you're not able to load it, you need to go to settings, add calendar, and then you can choose which calendar you want to bring in. Okay, Each one of these has different settings and things that you can use with it. From there, you can go to the all calendar screen and kind of check out your appointments. Um, if you see one, let's go here and... Oops. You'll be able to click on any type of appointment that you have on the system here. You can click the update button, and then you'll notice here there's a timeline function. This is going to show you a preview of what is going out in your messages, what it's saying, when it's sent, when it's set to go, and when it has actually sent. So that is a great little tool as you're setting things up. And once again, all I'm doing is just clicking on the appointment here, clicking update. And I can see exactly what numbers are going and what timelines, uh, what the timeline is saying things are going to go. So I can see I, my message out, the message reply, and then any other additional messages here. Uh, lastly, before we go, the online booking tool is right here. Uh, this is for anybody that wants to set up the ability for patients to make their own appointment with you. So it's more of a booking tool. It's kind of like Calendly, some of these other systems that you may find online where they can actually make a booking with you or schedule an appointment with you. Um, and then it'll go on your schedule. That is a really a completely separate system. It is some overlap with appointment reminders, uh, but there is another complete video as well on online booking integration and how that works. Uh, hope this helps. Feel free to reach out to us on the chat line and or set up a demo with us if you still need to have additional questions and, and have some things you need to be answered.